gaze into the crystal ball of a fortune teller. They say it offers a glimpse into the future. I see that Kiki has an incredible voice, and she'll someday be a famous singer. Cool. Betty Ann's compassion and intelligence will lead her to a successful career in medicine. Really? Stig will be a professional wrestler. Yes! Sam's love for adventure will make her a famous explorer. Maybe searching the ocean depths where no one has gone before. I like this game. And Tucker. Hmm. He'll clean elephant cages at the zoo. Hey, what does that thing say for you, smart guy? I see in my future a story. A story about looking into the future. Imagine if a crystal ball really worked. Wouldn't it be cool to see what was going to happen to you tomorrow, or next week, or five years from now? The only trouble is, what if the future you saw wasn't a good one? What if it was filled with fear and danger? Would seeing a horrible future mean you can change it? Or would it mean you had to live with the knowledge that you were doomed and all you could do was wait for it to happen? Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of a Door Unlocked. Natalie Miller. She'd say yes. She looked at me in the library yesterday. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know either of them. Hey, Michael, get out of there. You're not supposed to go in there. What are you, Mom's spy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Want to buy a little brother? Nah, I already got a wizard. Hey, what's he doing in there? Oh, it's a dumb club he's got with his friends. Whenever they get a new member, they bring him in there and scare him. Like an initiation. Cute. Maybe Beth Elliot. She'd go. Yo, Justin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beth's cool. So, um, they believe that stuff about the Albers house? What? Almost the Albert Hans the place? So, uh, who are you gonna ask her to dance? I, I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet. Right. You'll never ask anybody. You choke every time you look at a girl. And do not. You too. Do not. You too. Do not. You too. You too. Excellent. Hmm? Get lost, will ya? Why? Because I don't want an audience. Now go. anything for the guts to do that. What was that? I didn't quite hear. You'd give anything for what? Nothing. Wait! Don't be shy. Surely there must be something I can interest you in. Have you seen our vomit? Who are you? They call me Sato. No, mister. Accent on the dough. And you are... Justin. No rules, just plain Justin. So, what are you looking for, just plain Justin? Nothing you can help me with. <laughs> Try me. Okay, I got this thing with girls. Don't we all? No, I'm nervous about asking anybody out. I'm scared they're gonna say no, and I'll look like a total geek. I have exactly what you need. You're kidding. I never kid. Just the thing to help you solve your problem. Thanks anyway. I gotta be going. Voila! What is it? It's a doorway. It's a doorway into the future. It's one of a kind. I got it from a fortune teller who fell on hard times. 
What's it do? Well, uh, you just tell it what you want to see. Imagine knowing beforehand whether or not the young lady you ask out will say yes or no. Doorway to the future? Yeah, right. It's your nickel. Show me a girl who go to the dance with me. Ooh. Rip. Doesn't even open. It's a steal at, uh, $64.95. What? Oh, but wait. Today's sale day. It's only $44.95. I can't afford it. $24.95? I've only got ten. Sold. But I'm losing on the deal. Great time. No, no, wait. I don't get it. Work before. Introduce me later. I know how doors can get a little stuck up. Ben, <laughs> wait. you said this is one of a kind. Uh, yes. Well, you see, the, um, the doors are, uh, are a match set. And so, you see, they are one of a kind. Um, both of them, <laughs> sort of. Uh, all right, they're two of a kind, so sue me. I want to know who's on the other side of that door. It really works? <laughs> I mean, uh, it, uh, it really works, uh, exactly as I said it would. Then who is it? I... It looks like, like, like a strange little puppet. 
You hate this. It only works for me. I see. Well, I'm afraid that any liability resulting from magical doors is strictly the responsibility of the owner. That's you. That's in the uh, fine print of any oral contract. But I saw a girl. Consider yourself lucky. Well, good day. <laughs> Done deal. And you Breck said yes. You mean you nagged her until she couldn't take it anymore? Exactly. So, uh, you still going with your toy door? It's not a toy. The guy I bought it from told me he chose the future. But did you see yourself going to the nut house? It's no joke, Ben. I saw a girl hurt in a fire. And if that's really the future, then somebody's in a lot of trouble. And there's nothing I can do, because then I even know who she is. All right, people, settle down. Now, uh, before we begin, I'd like you all to welcome a new student to our school. Her name is Ashley. Everyone, this is Ashley Brewer. class, aren't you? Yeah, I'm Justin. I'm Ashley. Hi. Uh, I don't want to sound weird, but can I ask you something? Sure. Uh, have you ever been trapped in a burning building? No. What kind of question is that? Hey, whoa, sorry, bro. Who's the babe? I thought you were too chicken to talk to girls. That's no babe. That's my sister. Brad? Oh, well, excuse me. It's like my brother made friends with your brother. Yeah. Oh, by any chance, is your father a firefighter? Uh, no. <laughs> Listen, I better, I better go. strange and ask you to the dance. Forget about the dance. I gotta wonder about the fire. What a great icebreaker. Hi, I just saw the future through a magic door and you're doomed. Wanna go to the dance? It's not funny. Ashley might be in trouble. I hope she has smoke alarms in her house. Smoke alarms? What is it with you and fire? Uh, it's kind of a hobby. Yeah, yeah. You know, fires and smoke alarms. Can't have too many smoke alarms. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Man, you gotta get over this. Right. Ashley, we have a welcome present for you. Oh, thank you. No! Are you crazy? What do you do that for? But I thought... <laughs> nice work. If you can't charm him, soak him down. Here, wear my jacket before you freeze. No! I, I mean, don't put that on! It's okay, you'll be fine. Bed rest and a little warm milk and you'll be good as new. Ashley, you're in danger if you wear that. Don't put it on! I saw it through my, my little door. <laughs> We all did it, and if you want to be one of us, you'll do it, too. What do I have to do? They say old Mr. Albers haunts the place. You gotta go up to the master bedroom and sit in his chair. Hello? Uh, 
Is this Justin? Yeah. Hi, this is Ashley from school. Um, is my brother there? Uh, no. Is he supposed to be? Well, the little squid told my mother he was going to visit your brother. She wants him home for dinner. Now. Sorry, he's not here. Great. Now I've got to go look for him. Uh, Ashley? Yeah? Listen, uh, I'm really sorry about today. And I know it's hard to believe, but... I'm not a total lunatic. Usually. You're right. <laughs> it is hard to believe. Maybe we could just forget it ever happened and start all over again? I'll think about it. Listen, I gotta go find Brad before dinner burns. See you later. Burns? Dinner burning? Hello, Ashley? for mom. I just have to know where he is. I'll be your best friend. Give me a break. Just tell me where he is. Well, mom's gonna find out who flushed the corn cob down the toilet. He went to do an initiation. Initiation? Like the Albers house? This isn't the future. This is right now. down here. There's got to be a way out. So that little door's fault. What little door? The one I saw you through. The key set in and... The key said... Hey, what are you talking about? 
He said it was one of a kind. But it isn't. There's two. And if one's the indoor, the other must be the outdoor. You are crazy. That's Sardo. No, mister. Accent. Changing my name. It's finally driven me out of my mind. more than I thought. Open the door! <laughs> My, how interesting. Are you okay? Yeah, I think. What happened? <clears throat> I don't know whether this is the right time, but uh, I don't suppose I could interest you in purchasing the triplet. The triplet? Yes. It's actually three of a kind. Nah, keep it. <laughs> the magic door never worked for Justin again. But whether a door's magic or not, there's one thing that can always be said. Whenever a door is open, it always leads to new possibilities. You ready? Absolutely. The end. Hey, careful. Let's see if I can tell the future. I see... I see a guy standing up and saying... I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. I declare this meeting. Give it to me, Tucker. Give it to me, Tucker. <laughs> hey, this thing really works. Let me try. Yeah, you're right, I see. I see a little guy, and he's being pounded by a big guy with glasses. Mm, nasty. Later. <laughs> 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 